Okay guys, Akumalo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update and what a, and what a chart, huh? It's so difficult to understand, to figure out what's going on here. Okay, one thing that I'm, uh, that I'm pretty confident that we have is this triple combo, okay? Let me show you guys the, the daily chart, right? This is my daily chart, same old, same old, I have been presenting it here for you guys for the past, I don't know, 10, uh, for the past 3 months, yeah, 300 days, oh my goodness, we are now uh, 300 days into this correction and it, it represents 30% of the time that we spent in our, oopsie, in our impulse wave 30 percent correcting which is uh, remember i've told you guys uh, at least 24 uh, percent we have been through this uh, i have i have done a time analysis are we approaching the end perhaps uh, we have we ha definitely bitcoin has broken this line here that was formed this triangle the symmetrical triangle here and we are now testing this line here, this blue line here, right? So far we are, we failed to, bro to break it. We are now closing, we closed the day below it. We closed the, we closed the yesterday with this nasty, uh, with this nasty candle here, nasty bearish candle. Now we are kind of pulling back, but this pulling back, huh, it might be only a, uh, uh, if we look at the, the the hourly chart and everything, you're gonna see that it looks like a continuation pattern. So we might not touch this uh, 7K that I have been calling. I have been calling this 7K, 7100, but we might not get there and just resume going down, okay? The way I'm see it, it's an ABC, it's a clear ABC, okay? The, although this B here, it's not as clear as we would like. We can see here an A, right? A. This is a B and then a C, a truncated C. Okay? A running flat. Okay? That would be the B here. The B has retraced 50% of this whole movement here. So, it's not really bad. Okay? Actually, I think it has failed to, to retrace, right? consider this is an a b yes we we have we traced right this is the 50 percent so if we count this is the 50 percent of this movement here uh, let me just adjust a little bit here this is the 50 percent this would be our a wave a b c of our b okay so then b would be here okay not um here but you understand that i'm counting it as a, a movement so this would be A, B, C, C really weak and not really failing to, to surpass the level of A. Let me label it for, so then you guys can understand what I'm talking about. This is our A. This is inside of B, okay? A, B, and C. Let me change the degree here. Submicro, okay? This is, would be our B here, okay? Sitting right here. I know this doesn't look like a B, honestly, this doesn't look like a B, this looked like a A, but this doesn't look like a B, perhaps we would need to do this, this looks like a B, okay, and then we'll have this C, yes, it's difficult, really difficult to, to count it, like, uh, I'm trying to be simple, to use A, B, C, to not really, uh, to not use WX, uh, double combos inside of triple combos. I'm trying to be, to, to present you guys a really basic count. And it, it works, okay? It's not impossible to think that we are having this ABC to finish this Z wave here, okay? We are in the last wave of this correction, okay? As you can see, based on the, the progression of this this act, this price action that has been ever that has been 
that has been uh, decreasing, right? The price action has been less and less dramatic. Okay, and this is an indicative of the of an end of correction. And if you look at the of the at the volume, the volume tells tells us the same story, right? It, it has been decreasing. If you look at this movement only here, where I called X, we don't see a lot of volume. Okay, we see like a a, a decreasing, a clear movement, a, a clear declining price uh, uh, in volume. I'm sorry. Okay, um, <clears throat> this is the weekly chart. As I said yesterday, uh, we haven't yet uh, closed the weekly, but I, I believe that we are gonna close above this blue line. If we close below it, definitely we are gonna test this yellow line here, which would be below 6K, okay? And then we have this chart. <laughs> this chart here is a little bit different, okay? In this chart here, I'm I am what I'm uh, in this this is the same chart that we have there this is six hours it's the same chart that I am presenting here for you guys the, uh, this is the daily but this is six hours and remember guys I have been proposing this 50% in the algo targets and it has been decreasing the, the, the amount of time that we spent above 50% and the amount of and the, the the amount of the distance between those 50% is now like nothing you see I presented this uh, in detail in a previous video you guys can check out it's uh, yesterday I, I, I was talking a bit in length about this pattern but you can see that this pattern is uh, is really clear it's diminishing right now we, we in this time here we, we we try to go above it but fail two times this is where I'm calling B okay and this is this is the B wave and then we are finishing this B and going one two this would be three okay so let me show you guys this is B okay A B C trying again this is good this would be a, a, a ABC this C wave here would be really a, a, a truncated C and a truncated fifth and then it would have this, this is a one two then it would need to finish this three four five okay this is the way that I'm presenting it this would be our C wave okay this would be our oopsie I'm sorry uh, this would be our C Okay, here we would finish it and we would finish this W. I'm sorry, this Y and this Z here. Okay. We have all those targets. As I have told you guys, it's not clear where we are going to 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 land. Where what target is more likely? Okay, these ones. 6k minus 3820. And these targets here that which which is really really important. 58,000, 5,800, uh, if we count it as a double bottom, if you want, okay, and if we use the Fibonacci extension here, this is our A, B, so let's, ex this is the pivot low, pivot high, sorry, extending A, and then using the B here, where we land, we have this target here, 100%, we would have a new target if we consider this okay we would have a new low this would be 5500 and then it would have the this pocket here of confluence here this pocket here would be our desired the sweet spot for our C wave that would be 5100 okay this is the story that we have guys okay if we are going down we are definitely gonna go test one of those targets 100% at least okay so and uh, it, okay of course counting this as a W X and Y so this is an ABC inside of this Y here Okay, it's a little bit different than what I'm presenting it here. When I'm presenting it here, you see, instead of a W, X, I'm presenting an A, then an ABC for a B, 
and then we would finish this C here. It's almost the same count, guys. It's almost, but I really think that this is this this looks like a motive impulse, an A, a motive impulse wave down. Then would have a B here, correcting here, and then C would start would be starting here to finish this E. The count uh, practically is the same thing, but this this one here is a little bit better it's a little bit more i don't know i don't like this w here i don't like this is not an abc you see how how uh poignant this this drop was and then this this okay these you might count as an abc this x here but how to make sense of this whole mess here is difficult when I count this as an A, then it's a B, A, B, C, okay. It's fine. It's a little better. And this is the same count that I'm presenting here, okay? This is our A. This same count, this is the two hour chart. I'm presenting the same one that I'm presenting here. But of course, two hours and micro counting it. So when I zoom this thing, I, I, I don't like what I see, okay? Honestly. This would be our A, so let me show you guys. This would be our A. Then this would be our B, A, B, and a C. This would be our B, and then would, this would be our C. See? This would be our B wave. This is yellow. Let me change the color of this. This would be, I don't know, white, okay? This whole structure here, A, this A, B, C, this whole structure here, truncated C here. Really, I don't like this, actually. Um, one, two, three, four, five. B would finish it like here, okay? And then we'll have this tiny, tiny C trying to break again the 50% and failing, okay? Hmm. Then we would have this one, two. Then this is, the, this is what we have here, okay? B would... Okay, let me just show you guys. Would B would have, um, if we count B here from the top of this A wave here to the bottom. Yes, it's not wrong that we have that we, the, e, the A wave of this B here, this white B, has retraced above 50%, so it's not wrong. Okay, we are indeed... Uh, we are within the, the guidelines and of this C was short but and then we have this crazy sideways B here which is not bad we have an, uh, a running flat this is a clear running running flat you see A then we have this ABC here inside of this B we have a running flat uh, and then we have this A a B I'm sorry A B C it's really difficult guys to make sense of this really difficult I kid you not I'm not really I, I it's not only me how the other analysts they are they are uh, scratching their heads trying to make sense of this all okay but uh, I am presenting different counts and trying to make sense of this and trying to make sense of this movement here when we start going down okay we haven't finished the third wave we are in the third wave finishing it we have finished the third wave and now we, we would need to start we are in within this wave four here going up to this level here of 62 uh, 100 6 300 perhaps and then we would go down again to finish this third wave okay then we'll have a fourth wave then we'll have a fifth wave and then we would finish this c wave here perhaps a double bottom as i said here okay a double bottom here to finish this c it's the same count okay one two three we haven't finished three here this th this uh, this blue line this blue trend line here is acting as a resistance as a support i'm sorry and then we would need to, to break it and then retrace again for the fourth wave. And then we would have the fifth wave here finishing, perhaps having a double bottom. Okay? 
this is clear uh, at least that did we that we have a motive impulse wave down here it's clear for me okay we'll have something like this yeah. uh, perhaps minus 36 percent touching the the this our target here okay which is whoever 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 sold here would be looking to buy here okay minus 360 or perhaps minus 618 okay which is the double bottom that I have been calling it <clears throat> um, so what I recommend you guys is to wait for this movement going up here okay for this movement for this wave 4 which I am calling wave 4 okay at least this is what it looks like and it's really easy guys to stop loss here if it goes like here this is the region of wave 1 you start considering uh, stopping your loss although it might be a, a leading uh, ending diagonal here and then if it's an ending diagonal it's okay for wave 4 to to go beyond and to, to retrace to the region of the wave one but this is this is my stop loss okay this would be my stop loss 6400 okay remember it would it would face this resistance that was a previous support so we need to break this resistance then i i think it's difficult to to hold this as a as a wave four okay i am counting on this retracing to this 50 percent at least Six three hundred, okay, and then I would have one more leg down to finish this wave three, then four, then five again. So um, when we look at this movement here, you see a one, two, one, two, one, two. So it's a a clear pattern that is gonna that it was building a, a sort of a one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, a motive impulse wave down. We see that a lot. Okay, I don't like this C here. I don't like it. But if we count this as a, a A, B, C, D, E, I know this doesn't look like it. An A here. Then we have this B. Then if you want something like this, perhaps, right? B would finish here, not here. And then yes, yeah, that's better. Then this would be a leading uh, ending diagonal, perhaps. This is a double bottom almost. Yes, it's a double bottom. It's a clear double bottom. But but we had a double bottom here those two weeks. But we failed to put to to get higher than this fifty percent. So this fifty percent was a really strong resistance in a really strong uh, sellers interest the, the sellers was the sellers are really pushing Bitcoin down okay this is clear fail to if we had a C wave like here it would be clear that we would have a C here and it the symmetry of the of the movement would be way better but we failed you see this is a failing of even establishing a, a, a pre even to go beyond the previous high here so and then going down like this so of course I am I'm counting on this going down it's going and establishing at least a, a, a double bottom here to go below 6k guys and we have all those targets here okay all those targets 5500 51 who knows this 51 seems really yummy for me to be looking and uh, start buying it here okay um, guys I know a lot of uncertainty but that's the market okay if you like it give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you haven't joined us our crypto trader crypto trader educational Institute our discord server please consider doing so a lot of information there thanks for watching have a wonderful weekend and we see each other next one let's see what the market has to us cheers bye bye